My name is Juanita Archuleta and I work on the Ninja Trader business development team. We have a very special event for you today with Seal of the CandleCharts.com. It is important to understand that there are substantial risks in trading commodity futures contracts in Forex. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you and will depend on your specific circumstance and financial resources. It is possible to lose all funds deposited with your broker and could even incur losses beyond these amounts. Please inquire at the following link for a full copy of the full risk, excuse me, of the CFTC full risk disclosure or for more information. Also, please remember that these training webinars are not a solicitation nor a recommendation, but educational in nature only. This presentation is presented by NinjaTrader LLC, which is the technology company responsible for developing and supporting the NinjaTrader trading software. Brokerage-related questions should be directed directly to the NinjaTrader brokerage using the following phone number or email address. We are excited for this unique event in which SEAL will teach us how the Nissan Candle Scanner can help uncover new trading opportunities through revolutionary Japanese candlestick pattern recognition. Thanks again for your attendance today and without further ado it is my pleasure to welcome to the room Seal of um, Candle Charts Trading. Go ahead and take it away. Thank you very very much for that introduction Juanita and welcome everyone. Thanks you for taking time out of your busy schedules and days to join us. We are here today to discuss a few things particularly we're going to be looking at the Nissan Candle Scanner and how it can work for you. Uh, many of you may be using candlesticks, many of you are probably using bar charts. I've done both. I started with candlesticks a long time ago, went to bar charts, you had multiple strategies I was using and I was still feeling, finding I was missing something valuable uh, and ended up attending a webinar similar to this at least and listening to Steve and Paul from candlecharts.com and ended up just like this essentially watching a similar broadcast and buying the NCS and uh, it has literally changed everything for me from a standpoint of understanding the charts, the, the, the markets in general, the, the speed of action where breakouts and setups are, the, the power of the force and just understanding particularly the, the psychology behind what's really going on with the buying and the selling and, and the levels that we look at every single day. So. Um, you know, which of these piercing patterns picked up by the NCS would you be more aggressive on the, on the buy? So if you're not quite familiar with candles, uh, that's okay. There's a piercing candle right over here. There's another one over here. And of course, there's target zone. So there's, you know, and there's another one at the very, very bottom. So there's different ways, obviously, to trade and go about things. But the candle scan I'll show you has three unique features and benefits as well. Most, most, more benefits than that, but more three particular features that it uses and does. So we're going to just move on from this just as an example, just a quick quiz on that one. And as we move forward, again, the, disc the disclosure, I think, you know, pretty much Juanita covered quite thoroughly regarding the trade and risking and so on in all stocks, you know, securities, futures, forex, and so on. So I think that's been covered, especially with the link that she provided. So we can just hop right on through this, I believe, and then take a look and get started on the power of the Nissan Candle Scanner, many times referred to as NCS. And... Uh, partnered up with Ninja some time ago, thank goodness for them, and we've been able to use this add-on indicator on your charts as well as being used in your market analyzer for a number of things. Steve Nissen is the godfather of candlesticks. He's the one that essentially brought candlesticks from Japan, interpreted all of their manuals, and brought it to North America. So as a result of having candlesticks, as a result of his work, I should say, we now are able to use candlesticks every single day. It's because of him and all his fine work all his interpretation, his fine knowledge of what they did as uh, Japanese rice traders, bringing all of that valuable, legendary uh, information to us. So that's been a huge benefit, and thanks to Ninja Trader for partnering up with us so that we can now share that with everyone else as well. So, you know, candlesticks, if you're not too familiar, they can be easy, sometimes hard, there's, you know, hundreds of them. We have narrowed it down in this software, if you will, this, this add-on, to 28 primary. We could certainly consider perhaps adding more, but these are the ones we thought were the most beneficial. So easy to understand from that vantage point. We're looking for early reversals. If you understand candlesticks above and beyond the ones we have listed, then you understand they can also be used for continuations as well in terms of neutrality included. So it's all about safety first. Once you start understanding the power of, the, the psychology of, the mentality and emotions of candlesticks, then you get a much better understanding of what's going on in the market as well. And so it ends up being a place where it's a lot more safe so everything is all about safety first when we approach everything with candlesticks as well as how we use them naturally 
of course. So east and west, well, east, of course, represents the Japanese candlesticks. The west means things like Bollinger Bands, moving averages, you know, the RSI, stochastics, other indicators that could be used with candlesticks for confirmation as well. The more information you have, uh, the better, including support, resistance lines, channel lines, things of that nature, of course, as well. So that's all can be done together. And the more you have, that, especially when you understand it and the more confirmation, as you know, the better the result, the better the probability. Of course, your confidence levels go up. Consequently, uh, your account generally should be going up along with it as long as you're not too reckless. Uh, it can be used in all markets. Candlesticks are everywhere. As long as you've got data, they can be used in Forex. They can be used um, in securities. They can be used with ETFs, with uh, anything, right? So uh, all that is easy. You've got a chart, especially if you're familiar with Ninja. You've got a chart. You've got data. You put candlesticks on. It'll work. It doesn't matter what time frame either. One second, one minute, a, a month, a year, it all works. It all signifies the same thing. It's all about the power uh, of the the actual influence of that candlestick and what it means to you and on the chart as well. So again, all time frames available as I mentioned. So a sample here of a few candlesticks. Most of you are probably familiar with hammers. And then the opposite of that is a shooting star. So trends are important. A hammer will occur on a, on a downtrend, usually on a reversal, more often than not. But you, again, you have to understand them and it, put them in context. And if there's confirmation with the Western indicator, say a moving average per, per se, uh, or another support level from, say, days or months prior, that can add strength to that hammer. Shooting star, the opposite in an uptrend. Then, of course, is the engulfing sometimes referred to as outside strength or outside candles. So you get the bullish versus the bearish. And then the doji. Doji sometimes referred to as very neutral and sometimes may be confused. The more of them that develop that coincide or at least uh, in a series or sequence, sometimes that it doesn't go from indecision, but sometimes it creates or at least demonstrates a lot of confusion. At a high or at a low, that may also be signifying perhaps a early reversal, but certainly there's a level of neutrality in that candlestick. So I'm not going to go too detailed. Those are just a few examples, especially for those who aren't as familiar with candlesticks. So again, as I said earlier, candles use the same data as, say, a bar chart. So that means that candle charts can also include any Western technical tool. So I don't know what you guys use, but the Japanese simply used candlesticks by themselves. Uh, they may have used, say, horizontal uh, support resistance levels to identify, likely, but when things got moved over here, people were already using and now developing additional Western tools, as I mentioned before, the MACD, et cetera, as I mentioned earlier, CCI, whatever that might be, and in conjunction, works really well hand in hand. So I know that I was one of these people, it's not that long ago necessarily, uh, you're feeling like you're missing out on trades, you saw something move, you go, darn it, I wish I had. And more often than not, especially more of the amateurs, uh, those who are less knowledgeable, perhaps starters in some cases, they see something running and so they jump on and many times, of course, it's too late. And then, of course, they beat themselves up because they feel like, gosh darn it, uh, I got on too late. It always happens to me. Well, again, understanding where things are happening and why. The candlesticks will tell you a lot and when you could use the context, as I said, with a Western, you're going to have such greater... Uh, reliability, predictability, if you will, uh, and results that can happen. So that's useful. It uh, doesn't mean it's foolproof. It just means that you want the odds more in your favor than not. You'd, like, you'd rather be like the casino than the gambler, right? So uh, NCS will actually help you jump on more quickly, especially when the golden opportunities appear. And uh, we've seen success rates go up as a result once the understanding is higher and clear. So Knowing when to exit or protect your trading or investing portfolio, super important as we all know. It's all about saving your money, protecting your capital, growing it as well, but you certainly don't want to be losing money. So let's get started with a few things. These are the three uh, things that I mentioned the NCS will do with Ninja Trader. And so it highlights your charts. It will also create some scanning abilities in your market analyzer as well as it can create real-time alerts. And now with the advent of the new Ninja Trader 8 versus 7, you can also do alerts not only from the market analyzer, but right off your charts as well. So if you happen to have a strategy where, say, you're looking for crossovers on moving averages and maybe some pullbacks because you're a swing trader, well, that's good. You'll have an alert that there's a crossover. You've got prices coming back. Now you're looking for, say, a confirmation candle 
a hammer, a bullish engulfing, a piercing, something that might be helping you consider back getting back in at a lower, more precise price based on the confirmations of that. So let me show you what all that looks like. So when you bring up a chart, you want to make sure that you're getting valid candlesticks because there's a lot of people out there that are interpreting candlesticks as a hammer or whatever it may be, and it's not in the proper context. It's not in the middle of the trend. It usually should be at the top or the bottom of a trend. Um, there's only a few candlesticks that will be reliable or valid in the middle of a trend. So many times they're not valid. People get fooled. They think it's this or that, and they jump into a trade thinking it's bullish or bearish, and they get fooled because the signal truly is not valid. Rest assured, the software, this add-on uh, indicator on your chart is valid based on the criteria by the Japanese, also interpreted by Steve Nissen himself, and then positioned right in here. So with just a click of a mouse, you could actually, of the 28, choose any or all of those to show up on your chart. Now, I've got uh, the full text version showing up. You could also do an abbreviation version of this, but you can see the multitude of candlestick patterns that are truly valid based on the criteria. Now it's up to you based on the other indicators, your knowledge of candlesticks as to which one would be the right time to go long or short based on your criteria as well. The additionally, it becomes such a massive learning tool. And that's why I got it is because I want to get back to a truly understanding candlesticks, identify the names as well, the strength, the weaknesses, and it was invaluable for me to have this on my chart every single day. It was like having... Mr. Nissen and the Japanese rice traders right there next to me showing me exactly what those candlesticks should be. So here's an example of, for instance, you see the number one versus the number two. Number two is, in fact, a recognized hammer. In fact, I just took this today. This is Alcoa. And so this hammer at a horizontal support line, as you can see, I can draw across horizontally, may be an early signal that possibly that Alcoa may in fact be ready to go long. I'm not going to say it is because we probably need additional confirmation, especially with all this bearish activity leading up to this particular day. The power of that hammer may not be exactly what I'd want either. I would probably would want a more higher, longer, more volatile type candle than the size of that one. But nonetheless, it's happening at support. So the whole idea of this uh, this chart in this slide is number two is a hammer. Look at the number one in the middle of your screen looks a lot like a hammer, looks very large, but it's at the top of a trend, not a bottom of a trend. That might be more referred to as a, um, as a hanging man, a little bit different psychology. It looks bullish, but it's at the top of a trend, and many times will actually signify the possibility, the likelihood of a drop in price. So some may say that's a hammer but, and get fooled. They may th be thinking they want to go long, but guess what? It's not a hammer. It's the wrong place. Hammers occur on downtrends not uptrends. Huge, huge to know. And the software, the indicator itself, identified and highlighted that for you. So we talked briefly about real-time alerts. Again, you can set up your alerts however you wish with crossovers on moving averages. It could be price movement, price action, but also specific candle patterns that are showing up. One in your market analyzer and or on your chart. And then as you know now with NT8, NinjaTrader 8, you can get all kinds of cool alerts um, sent to your phone, email, etc., right there on your screen as well, bells and whistles to go off, and you'll get those things quickly. And again, any time frame, any chart, and there you go. So I don't know how many of you are using that, but that could be pretty cool. I get a lot of requests in terms of how to make that work, and that's, that's a nice feature for those who like to say step away in the kitchen for wherever they are and get, hear the buzz, uh, or if they're away in their car golfing, they want an alert of some kind, there it is. Uh, it's it's brilliant. So you set up essentially you pick whatever on that left this left box the number one your step one you would pick whatever candles signals you would want. You can choose the yes or no features based on how uh, the Ninja Trader market analyzer functions. Uh, you set your alert as well the type of alert etc. And then this is in the market analyzer in this case. And then of course you want to make sure that you've got your log out your alert log and then boom. It scans, and you know, depending on the time frame you're chosen, you're going to be getting a lot of alerts, or you're only going to be getting a few alerts. And again, it probably depends on which signals you're doing as well, including what markets, how many stocks, how many futures are you doing, just a small list of 10, or are you doing 100 stocks. Obviously, all that will vary depending on what you're doing. And as you play around with it uh, and you test 
you're going to determine which one seems to fit your personality. It fits perhaps your trading style, your strategies uh, the best. I get that question a lot. Which ones are the best ones? Well, that's not an easy question. Uh, they're all great. However, if you have a certain trading style, time frame perhaps, or particular setups you're looking for, some may be better, but certainly, again, if you're using Western indicators, that just about any of them can be used in that case. Um, and then again, uh, Mark and Analyzer, there it is. There's a, there's a picture of it there. And you can see that there was a series of candlesticks that were chosen as signals. We've got the three soldiers. We've got a shooting star, Bear Hotami, and a rising window. In this case, if we've linked up the Market Analyzer to the chart, you simply have to click on Starbucks, and boom, you can see the shooting star on the right-hand side where we took a snapshot of that particular chart. So obviously, they will coincide. The main thing always that people get confused is, if you don't already know this, make sure that you sync up and set up your market analyzer and your charts to the same time frames. If you're doing a scan, for instance, or an alert for uh, a daily chart, make sure your chart is, of course, daily and your scan is for daily as well, uh, and your alerts are for daily as well. That's always an important factor. There's usually a lot of errors when it comes to that, but that's an easy fix. So scanning part is probably the one thing besides the highlighting I think most people want to use. They want to search hundreds, sometimes thousands, but usually hundreds, and sometimes less than that, looking for signals that are valid, something that they're going to be able to use almost right away. right? Um, and so again, market analyzer is pulled out. And then you can have two columns, the instrument column, and then, of course, the NCS column. If you want to add other indicators, you can. You could probably use a stochastic and RSI for an overbought, oversold. That's doable as well. I've set those up many, many times for clients in the past, and that can work quite nicely. So you may be looking for bearish signals when things are overbought, looking for bullish signals when things are oversold, and that can be very useful. And you can even do multiple time frames. You can do the NCS as a column on a weekly and a daily and maybe a 60-minute chart, and maybe you're looking for some patterns and coincidences of candle patterns, at, say, at a, at a, when they're oversold hitting support, uh, and on an intraday basis, on a 60-minute chart, you might see a bullish engulfing, you might see a hammer, and then you know, as the day ends, boom, now you're seeing something developing on the daily chart, maybe it's a bullish engulfing, and so now you're getting confirmation after confirmation at different time frames for um, the entry possibility there. So again, scanning, pull out your market analyzer, choose again the signals you want out of the 28, all or, or a few. Um, and you can actually now with the upgrade, I'll show you later, the upgrade is a yes or no, but now there's a strict criteria. And the strict criteria just really emphasizes the, the, the size or the power of the candle so that you don't have quite as many signals showing up. I'll show you an example of that coming up here shortly. But again, you choose the signals you want. You choose the markets that you want as well, um, whether it be a Forex, whether it be the Dow Jones 30, you know, the, maybe the S&P 100, whatever it may be. And then, again, the analyzer will give you the signals developing on there. Does it work on day trading in ticks? Well, again, it's going to be, you're basing it on your candles. So if you're, you have candles and you have it on ticks, it, it'll work. But it's still going to be this based on the size. So you can certainly test it out. But we have it based on candlesticks at that point. So uh, you can certainly try it out. How do you get a live demo in real-time trading? Uh, you'd actually, I'll show you how you can actually get this uh, to use at the end of this, uh, this presentation here as well. So thanks for the questions. So in terms of entering, you've got a, uh, a piercing candle on the far left. Uh, support levels are established. One buys, but you'd also, with a bearish engulfing at the very end, can also be used as a strong sell signal, a strong bearish candle to say, you know what, I think it's time to get out. There was an upper shadow and that was pretty significant on the day prior. So there was a lot of power in that green candle. And they were shut down by the bears. The next day, they came with a pretty large bearish candle there, which would signify maybe it's time to at least take profits, if not exit as well. And sure enough, it would have been a good call to get out based on, you know, again, understanding when and where these things occur, but also being there to know, is this a valid candle? In this case, it showed you it was a bearish engulfing. It also showed you a good, significant piercing candle as well. That's right there on your charts. So 
question here, which of these dark cloud covers picked up by the NCS would you be more aggressive on buying? So a dark cloud cover we have over here as well as over to the right as well. So which one seems more reasonable? Well, the one on the right would be the more reasonable one because of the level of polarity. We call it polarity. There was a strong series of green candles breaking out above a previous resistance. And you can see the level of support that was developed. And so it wasn't a heavy sell that followed that. And the, and the trend continued higher. It was the next one with a large upper shadow, as I showed you earlier in the previous slide, that really says, OK, boom, this is a lot of selling pressure. Uh, the size of it also is significant. There's really no, no uh, uh, resistance that's now turned support, and things start to show signs of failure fairly quickly thereafter on this example. So let's see how this works. Let's go forward. So uh, you know, it's all about money matters. I said earlier, there's one thing about having capital. We all want to build it. That's everybody's goal to, for whether it be for vacations or for retirement or whatever it may be. We want this going forward. Uh, and I think Warren Buffett says it pretty much in his rules, you know, don't lose money. And then uh, you know, the second rule is don't lose any money. So um, it's all about that, right? It's all about protecting. So once you start understanding the candlesticks better, you understand how to use them in context, of course, better as well, um, then you actually just truly, truly risk less and the trades become much more profitable at least in your turn and you you will see better returns once you start to understand and use this as it's meant to be used so using NCS to lock in those profits or protect your portfolio um, there's your target you've got a, a buy at the bottom of the target based on the resistance that's clearly evident over a course of you know multiple days even months for that matter and then you get a strong, strong sell signal at the top, in this case, a dark cloud cover. And then you can see the sell-off that occurs following. So even though there was a massive bullish green candle just sessions prior, um, that resistance was evident and strong. And so the probabilities of a reversal could occur. You anticipate that might happen, but you don't get into a trade until you get a confirmation candle, in which case we got the dark cloud cover. And at that point, one could consider entering the trade, in this case, it worked out quite nicely. So the buy was one thing. The sell, in this case, was probably a more evident trade to take on. So myself, I am the technical support uh, person for anything regarding uh, the software and technical support regarding that. I am a, one of the few of the Nissan certified trainers as well. So uh, knowledge base is good to have when you start setting these things up and answering a lot of questions regarding not only the application itself, but certainly the candlesticks, of course, as well. And then resources, when you purchase, you're going to have a whole set of resources. You'll have uh, videos about the scanner. Naturally, you'll have your license key. You'll have all the installation instructions. There's a series of videos you'll have uh, available for how to use the filtering process, the highlighting video, how to set up your alerts. Uh, enhancement stuff as well, but and then including how to set up perhaps international markets that sometimes don't always show up in terms of instruments. For those who are in India and wherever else, we're getting a lot of uh, questions from some of those other countries outside of North America now. So a series of these things, including what we call best practice videos. Those are about an hour long where we did some live sessions, some similar to this, but essentially just briefly going over the installation, but going over all the bells and whistles, the features, how to set up a scan. We did this all live. How to set up all the variations of perhaps the highlighting and the including the alerts. And so all that's available uh, in a live video uh, it, that was done in a live webcast as well. So keep in mind, the NCS, the Nissan Candle Scanner, is a tool. Just like anything else, it's not a trading system. It doesn't mean just because a candle pattern appears on your chart does not automatically mean a buy. It doesn't automatically mean a sell. It has to be placed in context. You have to understand the candles, the power of them at the time. And then along with your own strategies, it will beautifully complement whatever you're using now. And if you're not using something now, then I'm going to strongly suggest that you consider this and certainly consider understanding candlesticks better if you don't already do. Um, because to me, there's I would never go back to anything else. It's just so much great information in understanding how and what is happening which direction things may be taking, 
the breakouts, the breakdowns, support resistance, it's, it's brilliant, including using everything for targets. Once you're in, your trade management improves significantly because now you understand where true targets will be based on the action of candlesticks as well. So from a limited time bonus, because of this webcast in association with NinjaTrader, uh, we are looking at giving you all kinds of great stuff added on to the sale of and the purchase of, whether it be a monthly or a yearly lifetime subscription to NCS. So you've got the intraday and the Forex modules will be included uh, as an automatic instant free upgrade if you choose some a subscription of some kind. Uh, again, we're adding in the st strict criteria where you tighten up the candle patterns criteria for greater confidence and reversal signals as well. So, for instance, when you do a scan in the market analyzer, uh, we've got, I think that's the Dow Jones that we've got there listed for the most part, and you got this, just the traditional bearish engulfings that, that were chosen only, and then the left one is just the standard versus the strict on the right. You see based on the strict criteria being a more powerful version, it filters down the number of signals you get. So one may ask, well, but why have you know, either one? Well, because sometimes you don't get that much stuff going on. So strict may not yield anything, but you want to yield something. So you might get only three then in the standard. Well, at that point, you can now look for yourself and say, okay, is this valid? But in this case, you can see how many there are. There's four of them that are truly strict. Now you can sort of decide. You can still look at them all, but maybe really scrutinize those four that are strict even more so to see just which one of those might be the better choice. So we've now also, from a, a lifetime that we used to have, we now offer the monthly. So if someone wants to give this a try, they, have a, they pay for the month, and they will have access to it for that full 30 days, do whatever they want, play around with it, try it out. Uh, it's beyond kicking the tires at this point. You've got it. You're taking it for a road trip at this point, uh, and you're really getting the true, true uh, benefits of this over the course of a month. In fact, many have used it for that first month, easily paid for the subscription. In fact, even for the lifetime version of this as well. So you can see the link at the bottom, and I believe uh, Juanita is going to be placing that for your use as well. Um, Yes. So somebody was asking if it's available on other platforms. It is, but right now this is, of course, all about Ninja naturally. Um, so that's the exclusive offer at the bottom. I'm going I'm to keep going right here right now. So there, thank you very much, Juanita. She just added the link that you can use uh, for that as well. Uh, as part of an enhancer, if you are not that skilled, don't have the time perhaps as well, uh, we do offer a white glove remote software installation service setup. That's pretty much me. So what happens is you do put a request in, and then I would come on live remotely, access your computer, and then, of course, we would go through a series of how do you want this set up, and I would set up for this. This is for a small fee, of course, but details will come later. But essentially, this is available for those who are less technical uh, with computers and maybe not have the time as well. So that can work out very nicely for you. So special bonuses, you're going to end up uh, essentially seeing how Steve uses the NCS as well in a video that you have available bonus value of 149. You have um, the inside, here's the best practice I mentioned before. That's going to be included as a recording. This is, this is pretty awesome because you get at least an hour of you know, all the nuts and bolts live with all the questions that were coming in live and then the answers that came with it as well. You're seeing live demonstrations essentially of the setup. Uh, and all the results that come from the scanning, the highlighting, as well as even some of the alerts that we go through as well. So if you order and purchase right away, by midnight, at least tonight, you're getting the candle pattern quick reference guides, which means that you're going to get all of the patterns that we have discussed, 28 of them, and all of their explanation, their details. So if you're not too familiar with candles, this is pretty valuable because you'll get to learn about candlesticks, those specific ones, very, very quickly. Uh, what they look like, what they mean in terms of psychology, et cetera, what the Japanese interpreted here, and it's another invaluable tool. So it can be set up to, to send to the phone and iPad. Yeah, Ninja Trader, it's the, you know, keep in mind, this is Ninja Trader, right? So we're talking about NCS, which is an indicator like a MACD. When it's placed on your chart, that's an indicator. So it's a, like a Bollinger Band. It's like a, uh, it's like a moving average, essentially. So whatever goes on the chart, then it can be placed in an alert. 
So it's as simple as that. It's not like we have some unique feature. It's not a standalone software. It's just an indicator. Uh, but it's a powerful indicator, as you see. So yes, whatever NinjaTrader can do for you, NCS gets plugged into that system. Absolutely. Great question. So within the next three days here, we have some special pricing and bonuses for you. So if you're choosing the monthly plan because you want to really give it a, a go, but you're not necessarily want to commit the full value, but once the month is over or sometime within the month, you're like, yes, I want this thing, uh, you'll have the opportunity to get use that as credit toward the lifetime um, pricing. So just contact Paul at candlecharts.com, uh, and he will go through those details with you and for you to do that for so get you set up first and foremost, but also, you know, he'll chat with you if he needs to, to help you decide which might be the best, but if you're still stuck on the, on the monthly, that's fine. Go with the monthly, but again, if you change your mind, you want to go with lifetime, that will be applied as well. So that's a nice special bonus, but, you know, usually within those first three days. And that's it. So check out that link at the very, very bottom. Um, See what's there. You'll see a whole page of all the list of benefits, features of the NCS. And this is the Candle Scanner. As I mentioned, the pricing is all there as well. All the bonuses are there as well. Look through it thoroughly. Don't waste much time. Contact Paul as fast as possible, especially as people always have high interest. Naturally, whoever starts first is in line first. So if you don't want to get stuck behind everybody else, probably get on it as fast as you possibly can. So uh, again, highlighting alerts and scanning all available all the we took we pretty much wanted to make sure that of course we used ninja trader to its fullest capacity and so obviously it gets plugged in and it gets used quite nicely i can't tell you how many people have loved this it has saved them so much time on their scanning finding stuff and then sometimes they say well i didn't find anything well that's because maybe things are in transition and you're, there, there shouldn't be anything. It's probably telling you that it is a good time to not trade as well. So uh, I know we're all eager to get into trades, but sometimes there are just not that many and don't fabricate something that's not there. If there's no signals, there are no signals, plain and simple. And that's how it works. So it certainly can keep you out. But in the same token, if you're already in something, it just means there's maybe a little bit of a lag or a lull in the markets at that time. And sometimes that's just okay. That's just continuation. Okay, so with that said, I know those series of questions are already answered. Uh, there will be no live session in terms of demo at this point. We just don't really have the time for that. But any other questions would be certainly welcome. Uh, it looks like I've answered most of them to this point. So I think at this point, if there's any additional questions that are going to come through, again, paul at candlecharts.com. Contact him uh, ASAP. He's wonderful with his email with respect to answering sometimes late, sometimes super early in the morning. He is on the East Coast, but that doesn't seem to matter. Uh, even when he's with his kids at uh, baseball games or whatever, he's still answering on his phone. He's that dedicated to you folks. Uh, I, I found that person as a client, but then, of course, now that I work there, um, he, it, nothing has ever changed. Super dedicated and always there for the customer. So thank you, Juanita, for putting that email address in there, paulacandlecharles.com. Do not hesitate for anything. Whether it's, whether it's for the NCS, whether it's regarding any of the educational material that we have, including some of the memberships that we have for, you know, the, the, ch like the chat rooms and so on, we have all that available. Ask him whatever question. Check out our site included. Get whatever you can so that you can learn candlesticks and take uh, all the benefit with you in your trading styles and strategies and for all the profits that you would like to make in the future. Thank you, Juanita. Thank you, Ninja Trader. Thank you, folks, for attending. So deeply appreciate uh, the valuable time that you've taken with us and certainly appreciate the uh, long-standing relationship and partnership that we have with Ninja Trader, of course, as well. I use it every day. I love it. It's awesome. Uh, I, would, I don't think I'd ever change anything else. So thanks again. I will, uh, at this point, sign off and have a great Thursday, a great Friday, of course, and a great weekend as well. Hey, Seal, thanks again for that. I want to, again, give you a special thank you for joining us today and for giving such a great presentation. Everyone in attendance here today will receive an on-demand recording of today's event. Please keep an eye out for that email. NinjaTrader Ecosystem is pleased to sponsor these weekly vendor events as a value-added service for our clients.
If you find value in these events, we hope that you do attend them on a regular basis. I'm going to go ahead and throw a link in the room that um, provides a, you know, a list of when we have our next upcoming events as well as an on-demand uh, feature to review previous webinars. We'd like to remind you the information provided in this was that of CandleChartsTrading.com and not of NinjaTraders. All information was for educa educational purposes and should not be construed as trading advice. Again, we appreciate the time you spend with us. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone, and we hope to see you in future webinars. Happy trading from all of us here at NinjaTrader Ecosystem. Thank you again, Seal, for joining us and giving us such a great presentation. Have a wonderful afternoon.